If you're suffering from sinus problems in your home, or it seems like you have real bad allergies when you're in your home, I'd like to recommend a product to you by Mold Armor. It's a 48 hour do it yourself mold test kit. And I can testify that this kit works really well. I've used it many times before. It's the only product that I know of that you can go out today and pick it up. And within two days, two or three days, you'll know if you have mold in your house. The only place that I know that sells it is Home Depot and they sell it for about eight bucks, but it's a really good product to buy and I recommend it to everybody. Now, the uh, air ducts in somebody's home sometimes get neglected, out of sight, out of mind. But if uh, unchecked for too long, you could have mold growing in your air ducts. And this is a great way to test it out. I'm gonna open it up now and show you what's inside and give you a quick demonstration on how to use it. Now, when you open it up, you get the solution, which is uh, potato dextrose. You get a, uh, a Petri dish. This is where all your testing is gonna be done in this Petri dish. And you get some cotton swabs. Now, there's three types of tests that you could do, but in a nutshell, to set up the test, you take the potato dextrose, you pour it into the Petri dish, you put the cover on the lid, you swirl it around a little bit, you let it set for, I believe it's an hour, um, yeah, for an hour, and then you're ready to do your testing. There are three types of tests you could do with this kit. You could do an indoor air quality test, which is basically just letting the Petri dish sit in a room uncovered for an allotted amount of time. It's actually, uh, one hour, you just put this on a living room table or bedroom dresser, you let it sit there for an hour, then you cover it up. And within uh, two or three days, you'll see if there's mold growing in the, uh, the Petri dish. Uh, another type of test you could do is if you suspect mold on a wall or in a shower, you could take the, uh, the swab, swab the area, and then put the tip of the swab in the Petri dish, again, cover it up, let it sit for the uh, allotted amount of time and look at it in two or three days. The test that I really want to focus on is the HVAC air sampling test. Um, and that's going to tell you if you have mold in your air handler or your, your ductwork. And basically what you do is once the um, solution is ready in the Petri dish, you tape the Petri dish to a vent you turn the AC on, you let the air flow over for 10 minutes, you take it down, you put the lid on it, you keep it covered, and again, you look at it in two or three days and see if there is mold growing in it. And if there were grow, mold growing in it, it would look something like this. Now that's just a backside view, I just flipped it over, and that's the top view. I got it all taped up so nothing's going to come out, and that's the back view. Probably two different types of molds right there. Now, um, not to scare you, but here are some pictures of what an air handler and ductwork might look like if there is mold in the system. This is my air handler, and when I bought my home, I had the home inspected, but the uh, inspector didn't do a thorough job. I wasn't there to look over his shoulder but he said the air handler was okay, and as you can see, it was not. It cost me a lot of money and headache in the long run. And um, incidentally, I said this is a home test, but you could easily take this to your place of work. If you suspect you're getting sick while you're at work, you could take this and do a test. Real simple. Or school. If you know your kid is at school not feeling well, your, your kid could even do this in school. It's not really a hard thing to do. I change my air filter about once a month or bi-monthly, and I use the Filtrate 1900 Maximum Allergen Air Filter that I get at Lowe's for about 20 bucks. Now, if you're an allergy sufferer, I suggest you use this filter or something similar, because if you get a cheaper filter, there's potential for particles to get through that filter and into the air handler, and that those particles could act as, as food for mold growth. So I suggest you don't skim on the air filter and you change it when needs to be changed. If you have any questions or comments, please send them my way. 
As always, please subscribe, and here's to happy health. See you next time.